The poem that I will be looking at is One Art by Elizabeth Bishop. The art of losing isn't hard to master. So many things seem filled with the intent to be lost that their loss is no disaster. Lose something every day. Accept the fluster of lost door keys, the hour badly spent. The art of losing isn't hard to master. Then practice losing farther, losing faster, places and names, and where it was you meant to travel. None of these will bring disaster. I lost my mother's watch, and look, my last, or next to last, of three loved houses went. The art of losing isn't hard to master. I lost two cities, lovely ones, and vaster, some realms I owned. Two rivers, a continent. I miss them, but it wasn't a disaster. Even losing you, the joking voice, a gesture I love. I shan't have lied. It's evident the art of losing's not too hard to master, though it may look like, write it, like disaster. In the first stanza, it implies that many things are intended to be lost, so that we can realize that losing something does not have to be an emotional disaster. We can get over losing it easily enough, since that's what was intended to happen to it. In the second stanza, the reader is encouraged to accept the fact that they will lose something every day. In this stanza, it becomes obvious that it is not only material items which are lost. However, things such as time can be lost as well. The speaker implies that it is by losing these everyday items that one can truly master the art of losing. At this point, it's easy for the reader to believe that losing can be easily mastered. In the third stanza of the poem, the writer encourages the reader to try to get better at handling the emotional aspect of losing. To get better at something, one must practice, and that is exactly what she is encouraging the reader to do in this stanza. The final line of this stanza reiterates that losing these things will not bring a disaster. The items begin to take on real sentimental value in the fourth stanza. These items hold memories of days gone by the mother's precious watch, houses that were once homes. Yet, even still, Elizabeth Bishop is able to nonchalantly state, the art of losing isn't hard to master. While it may be easy to shrug off everyday items when they are lost, it seems that it will be much harder to emotionally master losing items that have sentimental value attached to them. In the fifth stanza, it appears that the speaker seems to have had everything that she desired at one point. But now, it's all gone. The fact that she writes she owned two rivers and even a continent shows that she considered herself to be very rich at one point. However, it's obvious that she lost all the things that made her feel rich. And yet, she still claims that losing them wasn't a disaster. It's here in the final stanza that it finally becomes obvious as to who the writer is addressing in this poem. The intended audience is the one with the joking voice which she loved so much. It's in this stanza that the writer begins to waver in the fact that losing is an art that can easily be mastered. It appears that the speaker is able to fairly easily overcome the emotions attached to items, even those of great sentimental value. However, in the last two lines of this poem, it becomes very obvious that it's not quite as easy to lose a loved one. In the next to last line, she changes the wording from the art of losing isn't hard to master to the art of losing's not too hard to master. This changes the meaning slightly, proving that losing a loved one is harder to master than losing anything else. In the last line of this poem, the writer has to command herself to write the final two words. It's here that it becomes obvious that while losing everything else might not seem like a disaster, Losing the one person that you love really is a disaster.